Hi, today I'm going to talk about how many math. This is a visual math routine that grows thinking and analyzing skills in kids. This is a great math routine for kids in kindergarten through sixth grade. So what is the how many math routine? Well, it uses visual images to spark creativity and curiosity and gets kids talking about math. And it also invites all students and all kids into the math conversation. So as I mentioned, how many gets kids talking about math, but it also gets kids noticing math in everyday objects. And I do this math routine at home with both of my kids. I have a third grader and a kindergartner, and I use this math routine in my third grade classroom. So with my daughter who's in kindergarten, I really noticed because we, we do a lot of this visual, these visual math routines, she is starting to notice math all around her. For instance, we'll go to the zoo and all of a sudden she'll point to a wall. I'll notice her walking over and just counting tiles on the wall. So it's just very, it's turning math into everyday noticing and also just, it's a very visual. And so that, that, that visual helps kids to build math connections. And so they start to just to notice math all around and just builds a lot more connections. And as I mentioned, it invites all students into the learning, no matter their math level or ability. And so it is a fun way to build math confidence and spark curiosity in your kiddos. So here's how you can get started with the how many math routine. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna show an image and you can find free images online. And I also will include a link to a bunch of images that I've created for you to use that I feel like are good ones to spark math talk. And you're gonna show your image to your students and you can project it. I do, I project it in my classroom or I just open it on my computer at home and let the kids look at it. You can print it out. However, I highly recommend making sure it's printed in color because a lot of noticing um, has to do with the color in the images. So then you're gonna ask kids, well, how many? Or you can also ask what math do you notice in this picture? And it's, you keep it really open-ended so that they can count how many anything. And now the first time you do this, the kids might be like, ooh, how many what? How many what? Like they really want you to tell them, but that's part of it. It's just keeping it super open-ended so they can tell you how many anything. So that way all learners can access the math in the picture. So um, once you ask how many, you are going to probe thinking a little bit more and ask questions to get them thinking. Um, and I'll talk more about that in just a second, but then you're going to annotate responses. So write down what students say, you know, write down exactly, exactly what they say. And an important tip is to make sure you include their name with their thinking. And this shows them that you think that their thinking is important and that you value their contribution to the conversation. And as I was mentioning, you're gonna to wanna to ask questions that probe their thinking. So a big one that I do with how many is I ask how many and how did you count them? And so they have to then be able to explain their thinking. And you can also ask, how do you know? Can you show me why? You can have kids come up and circle or point to their noticing. And it just, it gets all that math conversation going and helps other kids to see what they're noticing. So let's try one right now here. So let's look at this image for a second and I want you to think how many. Right, so you're looking at this and how many? And you're probably thinking how many what? And, and that's the thing, how many dice? How many dots? Do you know what the dots on dice are called? I just learned this the other week and I think it's super cold. Cool, they're called pips. So the dots on the dice are called pips. So you might be thinking like, how many pips? Um, I actually just heard from a fourth grade teacher the other day who used this in her classroom and it was so brilliant. Like one of her students figured out how many pips were not showing in this image. And I'm just like, wow, that is amazing thinking. So just a simple visual math routine, kids can come up with so many cool and unique things to notice, um, but it's also a low floor so kids can answer anything. So here are some of what my third graders came up with. There are three dice in each column. 
yes, I spelled column wrong. Um, <laughs> I am stronger in math than I am in my grammar and uh, spelling, but um, here this one, there's four dice in each row. There's six dots or pips showing in the upper left die. Eight dice are showing three pips. There's 12 total dice. So, I mean, there's just so many different things that kids can notice. Uh, I was doing a teacher training with this the other day, and I had a teacher notice that the tops of the two dice on the top right uh, made seven. But if you look, if you group them by twos all the way down, it's seven, 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 seven. And I said, whoa, that is so cool. I had never noticed that pattern before. And it's just so much great <laughs> math thinking and noticing. So I love this routine. Oh, I wanted to show you this one that I did with my third grade class. And it's a bummer because the image is a little cut off. Imagine there was like one more a uh, row of dots. So it's like just ugh, cut in half, but oh well. So this was a really fun one because the math thinking that came out was insane. And uh, this one I did spend a little longer on just because the math conversation was so cool. So I had a student, you know, and uh, say there were 101 circles. So Jack said that. And then I asked Jack, well, how did you count that? And he said, oh, I counted by ones. And I said, oh, okay, so I write it down because you, you want to include wrong answers on this as well because it encourages math talk, math discourse comes out of that. And so then Nima said, no, I, I disagree. I, I think there are 96 circles. And I was like, oh, well, how did you figure that out? And he had noticed that he had kind of split it up into six columns. And in each column, he said there's 16. And as I said, this picture is cut off on this. I don't know why, but ooh. But um, so he was like, well, there's six groups of 16. So we wrote six times 16 and he explained how he figured it out. He said, well, I know six times 10 is 60 and then six times three is 18. Six times three is 18. And I added it all together and I got 96. And so I write that down. And, um, and then Leo was like, yeah, I, I agree with Nima. I disagree with Jack. And he said he saw it more as an array. And so he saw 12 on the top and eight along the side. And he said, okay, so that's, you know, he's like eight times 12. And I figured it out. Eight times 10 is 80 and eight times two is 16. And I added those together to get 96. And then it was really cool. Cause then Jack went back and he goes, I'd like to revise my thinking. I agree. I think there are 96 circles. And just, just from that part alone, the math talk was so rich and we were able to do all this higher level multiplication talk in our third grade classroom. Yet, all, all learners are invited into this conversation. I mean, Bridget was able to share that there were four yellow blocks. And so kids can enter this wherever they feel comfortable. Um, here was another one that I did with my third graders, just with some like cookies. And there was just a lot of noticing, a lot of math talk, a lot of, this one brought out a lot of like disagreements as well. Like, no, by disagree. And they were like analyzing all sorts of things with the picture. So just that, that reasoning, that justification, that math talk, it's, it's so powerful in this, in this math routine. So um, again, to questions that you might want to ask your students to kind of elicit more math thinking, more math talk. Um, you could even show a picture and just say, how do you see math represented in this picture? You could say, oh, can you estimate? how many blank in this picture. So for instance, with the dice, like, well, how many pips are in this picture? You could even just ask, what are some numbers that describe this picture? Just, it gets kids thinking all sorts of different ways mathematically to look at an image. So with this math routine, it will help you notice that your kids are brilliant. They have so many math noticings that they can contribute. And the power of visual mathematics will absolutely amaze you. There's been a lot of research done with visual math and how important it is for kids. And this is just a fun way to explore that with them. All right, so if you have any questions or ideas to share, I'd love to hear from you. You can give me some, uh, like leave me a comment, let me know what you think, or if you have any ideas or ways to extend this. As I mentioned, I will also include a link to my free resource with, that gives you some Google Slides with some how many images that you can project with your kids. And again, this is great for kindergartners all the way up to sixth grade. It's just, just really fun math talk. 
All right, well, I really hope that you try this in your classroom or at home and let me know how it goes.